Let's look at configuring the cash journal in SAP Financial Accounting. The cash journal is used to manage cash related transactions. It's sometimes also referred to as petty cash. You can post cash receipts and cash payments using the cash journal for vendors, customers or GL accounts. Now imagine a scenario where you might have some catering expenses, you might order some short eats for a function or a meeting and you might have to pay the vendor in cash. It might be small amounts so you'll be just taking out from your petty cash and paying to the vendor or the catering supplier. So then this has to re get recorded in the system so you use the cash journal transactions to record this. Another example is sometimes you might reimburse a taxi receipt. So you might pay cash to the taxi, fare, taxi driver and you can post the receipt as a cash journal transaction. Some companies there will be a lot of cashiers and they will be receiving cash payments directly from a customer. In this setup also you can use the cash journal transactions. Configuring the cash journal is consi is consists of these steps. You need to create the GL account for cash journal. You define the document types for cash journal documents. You need to define a number range for this. You need to set up the cash journal. You need to create the business transactions. And finally, you need to set up the print parameters. Now let's look at this in more detail. The SAP menu path for configuration cash journal is Financial Accounting New, Bank Accounting, Business Transactions, Cash Journal and we have got all the steps over here. Now let's start off with create a GL account for cash journal. You can also use the short transaction code FS00 to create the GL account. So let us set up this. Okay. Now earlier in one of our examples during master data GL we have already set up a petty cash account. So we'll just have a look at it. You can click on this icon to display. So petty cash accounts and asset accounts is a balance sheet account. We're just calling it petty cash, petty cash. Control data we are just displaying it in the local currency. And we selected line item display with the sort key. And we are using the field status group G001, it's a general one. And it's important to tick this, post automatically only. Because cash journal transactions, you'll be using a different enjoy screen to post and the cash journal transactions. So we would not want the users to go and do any manual journal entries against a cash journal account. So it's important to tick this field. Let's go back. So we have already set up the cash journal GL account. So we'll use that, use that as our primary GL account for cash journal entries. Now define document types for cash journal documents. Now you can use the standard documents provided by SAP. Remember document type is maintained at the client level. So all the company codes in this server will use this document type. So any changes you do to this will affect the all the other companies. So you can, there are some document types. This one I have just created one recently. The payments and DZ for customer payments. So for our purpose, we'll just use the standard documents because to track cash journal transactions, you can of course check the petty cash journal GL account. Now define number range intervals for cash journal documents. Now this has to be performed for your company code. So let's execute this transaction. Enter your company code. Then click on these intervals. Just click on this, insert interval. You can just give a number over here, something like this. So all the cash journal numbers will start from over here. Always make sure it's internal numbering, so don't check this. Press this icon to insert and save the transaction. Go back, back again. So you have quickly defined all these three steps. You have already created one GL account for petty cash. You are going to use the standard document.